Hi, my name is Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK and welcome to YouTube Tuesday. At Clarity, recently we developed a new type of stamp. We call it a three-way overlay. And if you have a look here, what you'll see is, let me just put my glasses on and I'll show you. Here is a fantastic, these are so beautiful, designed by our good friend Mel. And you'll see here, when you look at the illustrations, there are actually three stamps. Right now, these three stamps go together to make one picture. If we have a look at the stamps themselves, then um, let's have a look this way and maybe you'll, you'll see it better. Right, can you see this? Okay, so this, for example, is the first stamp, which is the outline. We call it number one. Then over here, we've got number two. So this stamp now, the black is the stamp, the black is the stamp. The black here is number two. It's the infill, isn't it? It will fill in, it will color in the outline of this one. And then number three, this one here, bearing in mind that the black is gonna be the ink, this will color in the background. Now they all work beautifully on their own. You can see that each one of these three images is magnificent, but you can layer them up and that's what I'm gonna show you. So if we go back to the images, you'll see here, this one is the Earth Has Music, three-way overlay. The Earth Has Music for those who listen with the little bunny rabbits and the birds, really, really lovely. And then over on this one, it's got the birds and the flowers. This one says, be still and listen, the earth is singing. I mean, these are just magnificent um, stamps. So what I want to show you, let's have a look, for example, if we look at this piece of artwork here, let's take that one out of the way. We'll just work with one because obviously they're working exactly the same way. Let's work with the one with the rabbits. And you'll see here, this particular little piece of artwork uses all three. So I'm not gonna create a masterpiece here. I'm gonna show you how this works and I'll show you how you can introduce the different colors. So stamp number one, then stamp number two, and then stamp number three. In that order is my, my recommendation for overlaying. It's like screen printing, but with stamps. So let's have a look, let's get going. I've already mounted my stamps onto our clarity handles. So that way I can see exactly where I'm positioning them. Right, so we'll start with number one and then we'll go from there. So let me just take a piece of, I'm gonna take a piece of stencil card, just clarity stencil card and I'll cut it roughly to the size that I want it. I can always trim it back. And then I'm gonna start by placing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant this image first, the outline. One, two, three. So let's have a look. Start with this one. This is the line art. And I'm going to use a, a Ranger archival black ink pad just to get a really good, a good crisp black image. Right. Having said that, I'll show you. Let me just do this and then I'll show you. If I just pop this down here, excuse my head if it's in the way. Right. So if I press this here, let's get a good image. I only need the outline once and we'll press. So this is a huge stamp, look at the size of it. It's like a finished piece of artwork. And we'll just rub on the back just to make sure that we've got all the image. Yeah, perfect. So now we've got our outline, do you see? So now we've got our outline, that's the first one. I could have embossed that, heat embossed it, put embossing powder on it, make a kind of a gully so that the, you know, and color it in normal. Or I can use the number two stamp now to fill the whole thing in. And you'll see, let me just make sure it's clean. I can position it, excuse my head, because I have to get over the top of it to do this, right? And it sits, I'm just gonna stick it on there so you can see it. If you can, can you see that? The white is the bit that's gonna get colored in. The white is where the color's gonna be. Right, so I'll just fill this in now. See, if, actually, right, so if I were to, to stamp this up, this is what you'd get without the, um, the black line art. That is the stamp number two, stamped out. So what we'll do is we'll ink this up and we'll plaster, we'll plant, not plaster. We won't plaster or anything. We're gonna plant this over the top. Okay, so I'm gonna take uh, Ocean Reef, really cool color. And I'm just gonna flip that over. And then I want to use, I think I'll use just bear with me a minute. I just want a bit of paper towel so I don't get my fingers completely covered in ink. I'll take this off, that's the green one. 
I want to use the blue. Actually, rewind, rewind, rewind. Go back again. Right, right. Ocean Reef, beautiful art history ink pad. What I'm going to do is just lift this off and in that little peephole, I need this bit. I'm going to close that, then we'll flip it round so we've got the ink now. Then I'm going to load that onto there and that's going to be what I use to, to ink up my stamp or at least to just to move the ink around. I've got different choices. I can either ink up my stamp like so. Look, I mean, if I do this, let's, let's, right, rewind. If I do this, right, there's a lot of ink. This is wet, 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 wet. I can take this and I can now, I can just add the ink so that it's not so extreme. I can take more if I want it darker. I can add it this way, okay. I can take a brayer if I want to, and I can roll the brayer. That's what brayers were usually for, wasn't it, for a printing plate. So I can take the brayer and I can roll the ink on there to get, to get a nice even, so up to me. Here we go, look, I can do this as well. So if I take that, is there are so many different ways to ink up a stamp, aren't there? I want it to be quite, there we go, big stamp. I want it to be quite vibrant. If it's not dark enough, I can always go and do it again. That's the other thing. So that's the other thing that I, I wanted to point out. So now let's see if we can see this. What I'm going to do is hover over the stamp, hold the handle here, hold it like this. And this is pretty much like perfect overlay printing. And you look until you're happy with the position and then you press down. And you'll see, then you press on the flat of the stamp. I mean, this is a lot easier than trying to color this whole thing in. Right. And then when I lift that off, I've got a perfect image. Isn't that super? And if I wanted that to be a bit darker, I could go and do a bit more. Of course I can. So let's imagine I just want to darken up the, the rabbits, just the hairs. So I'll go in and I'll just add a little bit of depth around there and maybe around the top. Just to, let's see if we can. I'm pushing the boat out now. I want to show you the point being that I can go in twice. So I'll go in again, again, hover with the handle. If you're right-handed or if you're left-handed, hover with the handle until you're happy with the position. Let's see if I, it might not make a blind bit of difference, but it's worth showing you that you can go in again if you're not 100% happy with what you've done. So when we go again, we press on the flat of the stamp, we lift this up, yes. And you'll see now that it's one generation darker. Get it? Right, so now, so that then, my friends, is stamp number two. You know now that it works on its own without stamp number one, or it's a perfect infill. Right, put that over there, take that off, then we'll go, to, that's that one. And then I'll go to golden turmeric, my yellow. So again, this time, I'm just gonna pop that in, just in case I want it, I need it. Now, let's have a look at stamp number three. Bearing in mind that stamp number two has got some ink on, so we, we need to have a, either we'll clean it or know it. Now, this one is stamp number three. So this is the solid one. If we go to our image here, it's this one here. And what I'm gonna show you is how to, let's make that yellow so that yellow's in the background. The whole thing now is going to become yellow. And you'll see when I press down on here like so now, see if I can catch it. The white part is what we're coloring in now. So how do we, again, if we want to add yellow to this, I've got blue on that, so I'm just gonna go with this ink pad now. I'm gonna go directly to the ink pad, and uh, to the stamp, sorry, and I'm just gonna smear it, tap it, and then blend it, just spread it out a little bit so it's not too blistery. Because these are relatively wet ink pads, they're new, then they're wet, I want to just spread the ink out a little bit. Okay, so now I've done that, then I'll turn this over, then I'll hover again, same old sketch, and then you just keep your eye on two, let me explain this, I keep my eye on two points of reference, that rabbit and that bird, and if those two are aligned, everything else will follow. So you just keep your eye on two places, and then believe you me, the rest will just drop into place. So now, what we are hoping is that we've got a lovely yellow background. Let's have a look. See, so that's all going to be yellow now. Let's see if we peel that off. I'm just rubbing it to make sure that we get a good transfer. There you go. Look at that. Fabulous, isn't it? 
bloody marvellous. Right. So now what we want to do is why don't we add a little bit of greenery? Let's look at the original one. See the green along the bottom? Let's see if we can do that too. So again, now I've got a bit of blue here. I've got a green ink pad, of course I have, but I've also got some blue here. Yellow and blue certainly does equal green in my house. So what I'll do now is I'll go back to that blue. Let's see if we can do this. If I, I bet we can. I bet if I take that blue, that's what I want to do. And I want to add a little bit of that blue now. We can always add it, but you can't take it away. So, so let's have a look if it works. Just add a little bit of that blue along the bottom there, which is the same, isn't it, as we used before. We're just going to, but we're using stamp number three. Well, I reckon this will work. And if not, we can always go again, can't we? So we'll just, again, two points of reference. One, two, and we'll press it down. It's very addictive, this is. It's so, so cool. I can't, I just, you have to do it to get it. Right, and then we'll just run up, see if we get green out of the blue. Of course we do, look at that. Isn't that great? So there you go. So what we've, what we've ended up with, if you like, and this is exactly the same, except I've just, I've trimmed it is all. That's it. So, so that's it. And then all you need to do is trim it up if you like. Um, I've, I wanted to lay it onto, because this is a perfect colour, I made some designer, designer papers and cards. I'm very aware of the fact that these are inky still, so I know that. Um, let me just show you, for example, here. This is uh, a Northern Lights, which was one of the first ones that I did. They've got some beautiful papers in here that I, I did the originals with Upo paper and alcohol ink, but they came out really nicely. And then I've also got them in card. And the one, can you see this all right, guys? Right, and the one I want to use is the very last one, which is this one, right? Um, very nice card, beautiful for backing. And of course, let me just, I'm being a bit angry now, but I'll show you. This one here is the same as that one there. Do you see? But this is a paper. And if I just show you the paper, the paper's double-sided. So you've got a really vibrant side, like so. But this is, this is card and this is paper, and then you've got the more muted side. So now it's all about choice, isn't it? We have the options. We got these in 12 by 12 as well, you know, for scrapbookers. So I just pop that over there so we can see, and now we have a choice. So we can take this piece of artwork, for example, and we can load it up onto card, if we prefer, or we can load it up onto here. You see how on this one, this was the more down to the original, you've got more, um, it's more concentrated, isn't it? <clears throat> So I think that I probably, I prefer that, and it, it's less work really for cutting out. But you do have choices, it's entirely up to you which one you have. And then all we need to do, again, is choices. I think, let me just show you, you literally just attach your art piece that you've trimmed back with a glue runner, like so. And then you decide where you want to sit this, like so. The, the message is in here, isn't it? You don't need it to say more than that. So then you just trim this back so that it sets, it sits nicely. Just make sure, you can always trim a bit more off if you need to, isn't that nice? There you go. And then you just mount that on a, on a nice card. And, uh, and Robert is your father's brother, as they say. Bob's your uncle, <laughs> anyway. That was it, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, as far as cleaning the stamps go, really easy. I tell you what I do. This is years of TV. This is when you, so you don't get your hands covered when you're using a brayer. Because as soon as you take a baby wipe and you go like that, gosh, you're covered in it. So what I do is I take a paper towel and I spritz a little bit of water onto a paper towel like that. Here we go. Kill two birds with one stone. You put that on there. Put that on there. You roll over that. I mean, this ink's terrible waste, terrible waste. All the frugal people will be going, she wasted all that ink. Well, there you go, in the name of art. I've wasted a lot worse than that. And then we just take that away. So you go like that, you've cleaned that, and you've cleaned your brayer as well. And your hands are not bad at all. Well, I have been going for a few hours here, but nonetheless, that certainly works for me. So I hope you enjoyed that, how to clean a brayer, how to clean a blending mat, and how to make a lovely three-way 
overlay piece of artwork with a beautiful sentiment. The earth has music for those who listen. And don't forget the other one, be still and listen, the earth is singing. They're both very, very beautiful, made here in the UK for you and your pleasure. Now, if you like what you've seen, uh, please subscribe and, uh, and leave a comment, that would be lovely. If you're interested in any of the things that I've been demonstrating today, then please do head on over to our website, www.claritystamp.com. Um, I have a blog, I blog every single day, barbaragrayblog.com or something like that, barbaragrayblog.com. Just put in Barbara Gray and it will pop up. And then the other thing that we have is a really, really creative, lovely community of artists and, um, and crafters on Facebook called Clarity Worldwide, which you'll also enjoy. Um, yeah, so do stay in touch and, uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.